Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back once again. It is me, Molt. So happy to be here with you guys today because we are working on our first Town Hall 10. Hopefully our only, depending on how it works, but our first Town Hall 10 war base. I spent like 30 minutes working on this thing. I think it's going to work really, really well with deterring the troops from getting into the town hall. Um, one of the biggest things that you want to do is have as many walls as possible in between uh, the outer wall and your town hall. So as you can see, everywhere I have at least three. In areas like, uh, like this, I have one, two, three, four. Um, one, two, three, four. This area has one, two, um, one, two, three, one, two, three, all of that. But when you have big compartments like this, it helps when the wall breakers uh, try and come in. It gives your defenses more time to shoot them. Um, so, yeah, I think this is going to work well. Let's go ahead and start plugging everything in. I have it pulled up over here on Clash of Clans Builder. Dot com. I feel like I should be an affiliate of them or something because of how much I talk about Clash of Clans Builder. It helps me when I design so much. So let's go ahead and, oops, didn't mean to do that. Nope, get back over here. <laughs> let's go ahead and bring everything in. We can go ahead and start with our expos. We're going to put those in the center and then we're going to bring one of them right here. So they do a really, really good job of protecting the core of the base. Um, as you can also see, we have this one very, very big area that uh, doesn't have a single wall in it. So a troop can come in right here at the spring trap, walk over to this air bomb, walk to this spring trap, walk right here and all the way around. It's good to have those kinds of areas in your bases because it works as a sort of kiting mechanism for any kind of defense that, uh, or for any kind of attacking troop that might come in. They can walk around um, instead of going towards the center of your base and as they're walking around to other buildings your expos and things like that can do work on them all right so next we're going to bring in our inferno towers and we're going to put those right here both of them overlap the town hall perfectly so if anybody is attacking the town hall then we're good because the expos overlap the entire center area they overlap everything. As long as they overlap, then you're going to be good because both of them can focus on anybody that might be towards the center of the base. Next, we're going to bring in these two Inferno Towers, um, and that is going to finish up the core little uh, pointy area of the design. Um, let's go ahead and continue on. Next, we're going to bring in our Clan Castle, and as you can see, those troops aren't going to be pulled too easily. Um, nobody's going to drop just random troops until these buildings out here go uh, and things get to the wall. So they are going to be pulled when the important troops are within the base. So once the person drops off their uh, golems and their pekkas or their witches, whatever it may be, that's when the troops are going to get pulled, which is perfect because then they're going to go over there and distract them while the rest of our defenses, like the Inferno Towers, do work on them. Um, and then let's go ahead and so that's where we're putting that let's go ahead and bring in our mortars we're going to put one mortar right here and one mortar right here oh bring that in some come on uh <coughs> yep so wait is that right yeah so we're putting those mortars right there and then we're going to put our last mortar right down here in this point of the base so the base is pretty well covered by the mortars um but as you get up into higher levels, the mortars aren't as important as they are at lower levels. At least that's my opinion on it. You'll see a lot of top players' bases where the mortars are on the outside. Um, so they don't play as big of a role as the Expos, the Inferno Towers, and the Wizard Towers. The Wizard Towers are by far my favorite defense. They always have been. Um, I just freaking love them. I think they do ridiculous amounts of damage. So we're going to put, um, now we're going to bring in our Wizard Towers because like I said, they are my favorite. We're going to put those right next to the mortars. Um, and then we're going to bring one right here and one right here. We're putting them in the back section of this open area so that they are the last thing that any of the troops um, attack. So they're going to be protected back there and they're going to do a good job of um, protecting this bottom region. You definitely want your, your, in my opinion, you want your wizard towers close to the center. Um, just to help protect it. I think wizard, like I was saying, I, I can I can rave about wizard towers uh, for hours. I just freaking love them. Let's go ahead and bring in our heroes. Um, I'm going to put them kind of in more of a distracting 
um, a distracting position uh, where they're going to be on the sides and as you can see anybody that comes over to them uh, depending on where say the archer queens patrolling or padding into the center of the base then the inferno towers are going to be close to her but the reason that I have them a little bit more towards the outside is so that they are going to distract the troops out there which gives the defenses even more time to um, continue to cause damage to the attacker so they aren't really in the core of the base but that is for a specific purpose and that is for the reason of them being a distraction from um, or a distraction to the attacker so that they can't get into the middle of the base as quickly um, so let's go ahead and bring in our air defenses. We're going to pop those on the inner part of these sections so that they are protected a little bit well. Normally I don't see air troops really used in clan wars, so that's why I'm not too worried about having them in the center center of the base. If this was a actual base that I used outside of clan wars, I might tweak some things a little bit. Um, but let's go ahead and bring in the rest of our archer towers now so we're going to put those in front of the of the air defenses and then we're going to do it on both sides because archer towers make great air defenses as well we're just going to continue bringing some of them into the center of the base let's put this one right here let's put our lower level one right here and then we're going to bring this one over here as you can see I do have a level 8 cannon so I'm gonna make sure that the level 8 cannon is on the opposite side of the level 7 archer tower because that way if somebody sees two level two lower level defenses on the same side they're gonna attack from that side so we're gonna put that over there and then we're going to bring our lower level cannon right here uh, in this area let's go ahead and bring in our gold mines that cannon sucks I need to, I need to upgrade those and then we're going to put uh, these other two cannons right here. And we're going to put another cannon back towards the back of this. And then we have two more cannons left over that are going to go in these corner pockets right here. And as you can see, one thing that I always talk about is doing archer cannon, archer cannon as much as possible. So we have archers, cannons, archers, cannon, archer, archer, so on and so forth, all the way around the base. And that is something that's very important to pay attention to. You don't want all your archers on one side because then it's going to make it a lot easier for anybody to just cause a lot more damage, um, especially if they have air troops. If all your archers are on one side, all your archer towers are on one side, then somebody can attack with Balloonian from another side and you would be completely wrecked. So... Yeah, and you know what, as a war base, it doesn't matter if all your gold storages or anything are right next to each other, just because it, I mean, you're not actually getting, you're not actually losing that loot, uh, so it's fine if they're close together like that. And they have more health, I believe, I'm pretty sure that they have more health than gold mines and whatnot, so I'm going to have those up there just so that they take a little bit more damage from the attacking wizards or anything like that. So we can go ahead and save this village. Um and let's go scout it and zoom out a little bit and just take it in I really really think that this is going to work well and I'm gonna do a clan war recap of this war depending on how well it goes I need to get freaking freeze spells ASAP I might I don't know you guys are complaining a lot about gymming <clears throat> not all of you but some of you are it gets kind of annoying um, because this is my job this is an investment into this game so me gymming it is helping me provide for myself really I know it, it I spend money on it but it provides higher quality videos for you guys and you get to see higher raids and all that kind of stuff so it is an investment for me but I'm excited for this clan war I think it's gonna go well this is my first really intensive uh, design that I spent or time that I spent working on a design like this so I'm excited for it and I think that it's going to work really really well so yeah but that's gonna be it for that war base guys our uh we have uh canine in here who is a beast he is crushing it he is it it doesn't show his level in here there's his war base so but he's like level 100 and what freaking level is he <laughs> let's go see what level canine is yeah level 167 so he's in here visiting us for this war so this is going to be a crazy war um, and I am pushing to champs. As you guys can see, I am in Masters 3, slowly moving up, and we're going. We're going for it. A lot of people say I can't make it, but we're going to. We only have, oh, we're about to only have 300 more trophies to get, so that's, 
I don't know, probably 30 more attacks, something like that, and it's not going to be too bad. So I'm excited for it. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I really do appreciate it. Um, we actually have an attack ready, but I'm not going to do it until um, I do a video for the uh, Chasing Champs series that I'm working on. So that's going to be it for this episode, though. I hope that you guys enjoyed. Again, I will be showing recap videos of how well this base does, so definitely uh, wait and check out those. Uh, but yeah, thank you so much for watching guys. I really really do appreciate it. You guys mean the world to me uh, You <laughs> it, it's a lot of fun doing YouTube. I really do appreciate y'all support and allowing me to do this So thank you so much guys. I mean it and as always make sure that you what that's right Keep calm and clash on for me, right? I'll see you guys later